Okay, hi, I'm Malik. Today, I asked the question, who are you? Looking at my life recently, I've asked the question, who am I? I feel like a lot of things we struggle with go unspoken. So, I wanna talk about it. Let's go. On my journey, I had to basically sit down, ask hard questions to figure out who I am. So, they can range from a number of different things, but these are it. Um, this is it. Step number one. We're asking who am I? Right? Abilities, talents, passions, etc. What do you like to do? Who do you look to that inspire you? It could be parents, friends, anybody. What makes me unique? And that one is so special. Why? Because it's so easy for people to, how can I say this? Conform their values and their ways to fit standards that people have for you. Narratives, opinion, so many things. It's so easy for you to conform to what the world wants you to do. Asking those three questions, this is how I came to the conclusion, figuring out who Malik is. I did my research on CNBC. It says 51% of young Americans say they feel down, depressed, or hopeless. And I say that because I can only speak for myself, but there was a point in my life where I didn't really affirm myself every single day. Like I didn't, I never woke up and was like, Malik, you're gonna have a great day. You're gonna have the best day. You're gonna impact someone. You're gonna be great. You're creative. It's like those you are's go a long way. Like you are more than what people say you are. You can do this. It's like those affirmations that kind of get you through the day. Never said that to myself. Didn't even know that was a thing until I had a moment. I feel like in high school was the worst. I was super like lowly, under the radar. Um, like I did band, I played basketball, but it was like, I didn't know who I was. I feel like even in college too, it was like, who am I? Who do I want to be? This extrovert, this introvert, so many narratives. I found this one thing that really encouraged me. It was the scripture, 1 Peter 2, 9. It was like your royal priesthood, your chosen generation, basically just all the affirmations you needed. And it's just like, dang, this is who I am. And it's like, I had to find my identity. And then once I found my identity, it was like, I have purpose. Like I'm here for a reason. I get to impact my family. I get to impact friends. I get to release and show people all the passions that I have, whether it's music, whether it's clothing. Like I'm literally here, like I'm trying to sell these clothes because I have a passion for clothing. It's been so many things. Thinking through this journey that I've been on my entire 23 years of living of like, who am I? What are the things that I love to do? And it's been awakening. In the past couple months, it's been like, dang, no, yeah, you can do this. You are more than enough. You carry so much. I was talking about this on live stream, and I think it's so crazy. A lot of people can be the most confident people in the world, can be the most confident, independent people in the world, but it still doesn't take away how much people really want to hear from someone else. Hey, you did a good job, or you're amazing, or I love the work that you put in. The recognition of what people see that you do, it makes you feel amazing. And I'm like, we don't do it for accolades, but it's like when you find your purpose and who you are, you get to draw more people to you, which is insane. Another thing that I wrote down, other than just abilities and things that you love to do, who inspires you? And for me, that's my parents. They're my best friends. I know y'all hear the music too. I guess they surprised me. Showing them y'all coming in. What's up, y'all? Already coming in, getting to work. That's right. Taco party. Taco party. That's right. <laughs> Taco party. How you feeling? Great. <laughs> 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 Not the week. <laughs> it's so sick. It's like days like today where you talk about life, who you are. I'm for sure a family man. Like I'm the one that would do any and everything for my family. <laughs> I always just look at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Is it recording? Why you always look like that? <laughs> where where would I be without you? I know, right? Putting, getting the, getting the apartment together. 
Aunt Jemima, I ain't never gonna forget about you, Auntie. <laughs> 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 you got, hey, you got to say, we we not gonna forget about Auntie. We not we not gonna forget about. This is this is what I'm talking about. See now now y'all didn't got me started because this is this why Pearl. What's this Pearl Mining Milling Company? They didn't took her off. But you know what? You gonna forever live. You gonna forever live in this house. Once Melody put you up there, so <laughs> got you a heart, Auntie. Don't don't you worry. Number three, what makes you unique? And this is what it says. Being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. So I'd pose the question to you. What do you know that you have that's not like anything else? For me, I would like to think my optimism is what gets me through and that I have that not a lot of people have. Like my optimism isn't like optimism that's like, this has been the worst day ever, and you know what? It's okay. My optimism isn't like so unbelievably real. I feel like my optimism is like, okay, I'm having a bad day, but it's okay. There's something within the day that is good or that made it good or the hope for the future. Like when I think about optimism, nothing is as truly as bad as we all think it is. Yes, you never know what's gonna happen, but it's like when you can look at the good and everything, I feel like that's something that I'm like, I carry and that gets me through. So we talked about things that make you unique, the people that inspire you, and your abilities and talents that keep you going. So, who are you? Hopefully today, I know it's different than most vlogs I usually put out, but like I've said before, I've been in this like self-discovery phase of who is Malik? What does Malik bring to the table? How can Malik impact people? So on this journey that you guys are on with me, thank you for always being in my corner and supporting me. But now I wanna support you guys. I feel like throughout this month, so many other things that's been happening, I wanna help people in a new way and help them realize things inside of them that they probably would've never knew that they had. You guys are great. New places, new journeys, so excited. Y'all, if you have a goal, you have a dream, go for it. Until next time.